Hey, what is up guys? I am here from AndroidRoots.com and I am back from vacation and answering all these emails and just getting caught up with all the Android news and all that. So I'm finally back making videos for you guys. And today we're going to be doing a ROM review of Wicked ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4 and this is going to be supporting your GG i9-505, AT&T, T-Mobile and of course your Canadian variant guys. Um, for everything that you want from the Loki Doki patch for AT&T and to the Wicked ROM to actually download, click on the one link down below that will bring you to my website where you can you go ahead and get all the information, all the down links for this video, and a lot of other things too on that AndroidRoots.com website. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this ROM, see the features, and see why you would actually want to go ahead and try out this ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S4. So let's go ahead and start reviewing this ROM. Uh, first thing I want to go and show you is the lock screen as it has a really cool animation once you do turn it on. Um, <laughs> and one thing I only found, only one problem I found is that the home button doesn't work. Now this definitely could be on my part, maybe there's a setting issue or something that I haven't checked off. Um, I haven't looked really in depth into settings so there could be um, a feature in settings that activates this home button to turn on the screen. Uh, but as far as I can see, whenever I do press the home button, nothing happens. Um, I have no idea why, even when I hold it down, nothing does happen. I do have to use the power button. Um, that could just be a ROM feature or just you know something I have to look into uh, settings but that is something I do want to let you guys know about. Um, but here it is, so here's the lock screen and first of all you get this blood spatter um, option. So as you can see once you're installing this via Aroma installer via Clockwork Recovery or Team One Recovery you have the option to have this blood spatter option or have a lightning option or just the plain uh, water option from TouchWiz. Um, so you have a wide variety of options to choose from from your lock screen. And once you do actually go and unlock it, you, you get this cool um, animation. Um, and this animation is throughout the whole UI of this uh, ROM. So let me go into settings. As you can see, the whole UI does change. Um, all the animations of where the pages are disappear uh, change as well. Um, if you go into a different app, you can see that too. The home screen goes this way and the app comes down from top, uh, top to bottom, uh, which is a pretty cool animation and kind of gives your phone a whole new refresh of the whole thing, which is nice. Um, you get three cameras included as well. Um, this is the Motorola camera, um, but keep in mind that it is a little laggy. Uh, if I go and uh, change the angle, so to show myself, um, it yeah, it's a little bit laggy. Um, as you can see, yeah, it is a little bit laggy, um, but behind it, if I go and change it around, um, right now, it's not it's not that laggy at all, but just keep in mind this is a little bit in beta testing for the Moto X camera, but the other two cameras work flawlessly. Um, so you have the AOS P Google camera um, right here, and all the three cameras are working fine. Um, so you can see the focuses. If I go and uh, you know uh, do photo spear, it works as well. Um, so there's no real problem at all. Okay, and there you go. There you got photo spear right there. And let's go ahead and show you the TouchWiz camera as well, just to show you that all three do work and fully functional. And boom, there is your um, uh, TouchWiz. So you get three uh, cameras, which is really nice, as each camera has its own benefits and features. Moto X is a little bit simpler. AOSP has its you know uh, simple features as well, and TouchWiz has a lot of customization, you know, uh, filters and all the other great stuff too. Um, another cool thing is that you get Wicked ROM Control. So right here, here's Wicked ROM Control. And again, you can see the animation, which is really nice. Um, let me go and back out of that. And right here, you got options for, of course, lock screen, status bar, color, and all that great stuff. Uh, clock, audio, UI mods. Um, and you get you can change your icons as well. I'm not going to be going through all of this, but I will go into UI mods and show you a little bit of that. Um, so you have option to long press to kill button, so just hold hold uh, back the uh, back button uh, for a few seconds and it'll automatically kill the app that you're currently on, which is a really nice uh, touch to it. Um, and the cool thing I really want to show you guys is for the screen. So you got two options. You got screen off animation and you get three options. No animation, CRT animation, that's a little tube effect, whoop, <laughs> and you got the fade option. I did the fade one because I haven't really seen fade in any other ROM. So it's a nice new feature I really do like. And I'll show you this. So once I do turn off the screen, it fades away. As you can see, that's pretty darn cool. And I turn it back on. It, uh, it fades back on. Um, it's supposed to be fading on. I don't really see it. Maybe it's just not working or something. Or that's maybe fading, but I can't really catch it. But you got screen off to animation and fade as well. Um, I'll show you that one more time as it is a really nice feature. As you can see, it nice fades away. A uh, new feature I really don't really see on a lot of new ROMs, so that's a nice touch. You also have multi-window control, so you can go and add all your apps for multi-window. So you have enabled packages, and of course you can do add all your apps. So this is disabled packages, you can go and add all the apps that you want for multi-window. And 
go ahead and save it. <laughs> I think I froze the app. Yeah, I did. Just because I was tapping on it too much, but that's all right. <laughs> just go a bit a little slower and you'll be fine. <laughs> and you also have pack control right there. Um, you have advanced options. I'm not really going to go into that as it's not really features or anything. You also have the bout section for uh, you know, all the people, credits, and all that. And Evil Art does make this ROM. He's the main guy for it. I have mad respect for him. He's a really great guy. Makes a ton of ROMs. Um, you also get um, wallpapers from here too. So I'll show you that. Um, so you get a lot of wallpapers. Well, a good amount of wallpapers, I should say. Um, so here you guys go. So you get a nice color, a nice contrast too. And of course, as you can see, you got a little Wicked right there too. That's a nice touch. As you can see, you got a nice good amount of colors and nice vibrant colors that really do pop out, especially with a nice 1080p screen. <laughs> um, and one other thing I want to show you guys is the type of themes you can get. So as you can see, my status bar is a little bit themed with green. And um, he does offer a light uh, mini themes, he calls it, mini themes. So I got a green theme, but via Aroma Installer, you can go ahead and get blues, uh, blue theme, no theme. And uh, you, you can even get a white theme, which looks pretty darn nice. But in my last round review of this, I did a white theme. So I thought I'd change it up and show you guys the green theme of it. And of course, it doesn't go throughout the whole UI. It's not heavily uh, condensed and all that. It's pretty darn light for what you see on green, but it's a nice touch to what you get to see. And you know, it's just you know, you can just change it up whenever you do want via install via a ROM install via custom recovery. And that is what I wanted you guys to show you. Of course, I didn't go in depth with every single little detail with this, but that's what you guys are here for. Go and try out this ROM. See all the new features. Go and try it out. And let me get let me. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this new ROM in the comments section down below and in the article section in the comments there too as I really do appreciate all your feedback on this ROM and I love reading your comments guys. Uh, be honest, I love reading your comments. I love responding to your comment questions. So be sure to keep that up. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like it in the bottom right corner right there. Um, it's only two clicks away to really make my day and I really do appreciate it. And um, that's about it, guys. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus as well. And of course, the links to the ROM is down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be catching you guys later. Peace.